BMI calculators are useless for people who have lost a limb. It's simple, cut off your other arm, weigh it, multiply by 2, and add it to your weight. My car lost her back leg last year. When I took her for her annual checkup recently the vet was concerned that she lost almost 20 of her body weight. And then she was like, oh why eh, never mind. There is actually a comedian who talks about his insurance sending a nurse to do an assessment because of his dangerously low BMI even though they know it's because he's an amputee. There are adjustment calculations that take loss of limb into account. This would have been a perfect Jack Handy deep thought, back when SNL was good. Incorrect there are in fact BMI calculators specifically for people who have lost limbs. They are also horribly inaccurate for anyone so, a doctor told me I was healthy and don't need to actively lose weight but if you look at my BMI it's the opposite. It is also unfair to old women. I have lost 2.5 inches in height over the last 15 years. To maintain the same BMI, I would have to keep losing weight. I once saw a BMI calculator site that asked about amputations. We have an algorithm in the hospital to account for this based on the patient's current weight and which limb s they are missing. BMI is really only useful for very overweight patients and for medication dosing as that's what the studies are generally based off of. BMI calculators are mostly useless for pretty much everyone. At best, it's an approximation which is pretty worthless considering most people who are obese or severely underweight can easily be identified without BMI. It can't differentiate fat vs muscle so it rarely is useful in terms of health. Most professional athletes would be considered overweight if not obese. My grandmother had diabetes and was constantly monitored by her doctor. After she lost her leg in the next checkup doctor weighed her and said that it is looking better, then looked up from his papers and the look on his face was priceless. And very muscular people. Friend of the family was technically morbidly obese from muscle weight. Over 100 kilos and under or around 5 body fat, ran marathons for fun and was one of the healthiest people I've ever known in real life. He said he once went in to see a new doctor and they assumed he was another person because the height and weight on his forms had prepared them for someone who was basically round he was also quite short. BMI is not for you to use as an acute measurement, it's for doctors and researchers to get a quick understanding of your overall condition and this post explains why. A doctor will see your BMI then see that you are missing a limb and apply a normalization because we know a limb's average weight. As another example, if you have a relatively high BMI but you're very muscular the doctor will understand this and treat you appropriately. If it were for you then you would understand how to adjust it and what to use it for. BMI is also not necessarily a good measurement of health because different people have different body compositions. BMI calculators are useless for people who work out and have huge muscles and low fat. The whole BMI scale is horribly out of date and wrong. We use a thing invented 200 years ago to determine the average man, it's got nothing to do with health or fitness. I had to fill out an online form designed for adults to register my baby with the doctor recently. One section automatically calculated her BMI My one-month-old baby has a BMI of 1428. You can be missing a limb and still be morbidly obese champ. Do you mind explaining on detail your reasoning behind this assessment? Also for dudes with some bulky muscle and no fat. Organizations that make decisions based on BMI are crayon eaters. Let's fix your fact RQ BMI calculators are useless. That's it. That's the whole sentence. They are just useless in general. The Rock has a BMI of 34 and is technically morbidly obese, just as a point of reference. I'm a bodybuilder. 220 pounds of pure strength and agility. According to a BMI I am obese. Amputees are my go-to example for why BMI is a stupid metric. Want to get healthy? Lose an arm. They are also inaccurate for anyone who works out or have a healthy living style. They are also inaccurate to determine if you're actually overweight or obese or even underweight. 
In fact, they are pretty useless in general. BMI calculators are savage to people with abnormally large real boobs for their body. They are useless when you have half a brain because all body types are different. Nonsense. Just multiply by 0 0.20, I say while not even knowing what BMI is. BMI calculators are useless altogether. I'm in athletic range of body fat and overweight on the BMI chart. BMI is generally useless. It was invented as a measure of people's body were at the time, not how they were supposed to be. It was a descriptive measure, not a normative. BMI is useless in general since it doesn't show a BF and muscle percentage just an overall comparison of weight and height. BMI calculators are useless for everyone because BMI is a useless measurement and doctors need to stop using it. Registered dietitian here and BMI is pretty useless for most cases, excluding obesity. BMI calculators are useless. Fix that for you. BMI makes no accommodation for muscle mass. So anyone who is in good shape gets listed as overweight or even obese despite being ripped. It's a stupid measurement. Yes it's useless anyways. People can't just neglect bone weight and other weights and fully depend on fats. Yeah IDC about general BMI requirements. They've never been accurate for me and I even had a better BMI when I was clearly less healthy, so, yeah IMO could have stopped at BMI calculators are useless. BMI calculators are useless for people who have lost a limb. FTFY. They don't take any useful information into account. Two people, one fat, one muscular, at the same height and weight would have the same BMI. It serves no purpose. BMI calculators are just wrong in every way. It reckons I'm supposed to be 65 kg. I'd be skin and bone I can't get any lower than 80 kg without being anorexic. Edit correction, it actually says I'm supposed to be 60 kg which is even worse. Most bodybuilders and professional athletes would be considered obese. They are useless for everyone. It doesn't account for muscle nor weight distribution. It's so outdated. BMI is useless for individuals full stop. It was designed to measure a population. BMI calculators are just useless. Unless we're talking about a population rather than an individual the purpose they were created for. They are useless for most people. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes like if you are 5 foot 8, thick and ripped that shit will tell you you are obese at 200 pounds rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. Also short people, tall people, extremely fit people, people with unusual metabolisms. Also individual people since it was designed to be used on whole populations. BMI calculators are useless for people who have lost a limb. Fix this for you. I don't know about useless. Most leg amputees weigh themselves with their prosthesis on. A typical BK prosthetic weighs about 2-3 pounds less than the original model. It's negligible and if you're a stickler you can add the extra pounds in your BMI calculation. I'm one of the few who it's accurate for, being how I'm 4 feet 8 inches, and have no muscle mass, I'd say when it give me the score of 32 when at 145 pounds it's likely correct. It would be the body missing index probably more accurate anyway. I'm an RN once saw a BMI figure that made no sense. Then I saw height was 3 feet. At first I thought maybe a little person dwarf but no, was a bilateral above the knee amputee. I remember looking at a patient's chart and being like how is this person only three and a half feet tall. Turns out she had both of her legs amputated above the knee, shaves a lot of weight off too. There's a comedian who only has one leg. He has a joke about a nurse being sent to his home for a well checkup because he was severely underweight. LOL. It's very possible that it's true.